What's good, y'all? It's KJ here with the Urban Fruit Forest. Back with another video for you guys. This one's gonna be real quick. I just wanna go through and show you guys what these dragon fruit blooms look like during the day, right? Because for the most part, when you guys do catch me out here showing you these beautiful flowers, it's during the night. I gotta have a flashlight. The settings just aren't always right all the time. So I came out here earlier this morning. It's a little past six over here in Central Florida. And I'll be able to show you guys what these blooms look like during the day. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't supposed to be a lesson, but I'm going to just go through some quick flower anatomy for you guys, too. We're going to talk about the male reproductive parts, the female reproductive parts, what goes down, how the fruit take. So before we get started in this video, I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys to uh, follow us on all our social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, a little bit more. All the handles will be down below in the description. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So let's take a look at what these flowers look like. These flowers are so pretty. I tell you, they're huge. This one right here is sugar dragon, right? Self-fertile variety, meaning that it could pollinate itself. Heavy producer, as you can see. Look at all the flowers that we done had bloom and took on this fruit, on this tree. Another sugar dragon from last night. I love the pink tips on these things. Another sugar dragon, right? So let's go through some quick flower anatomy for you guys, right? So these little fingers that you see back here are called the stamen, right? So they, they are the male reproductive parts of the flower. They carry pollen, right? So the pollen is then took from the stamen by little pollinators like this wasp here, right? Can you see them? But our me at nighttime, right? It all depends on who gets to it first, right? So this stamen contain pollen. The pollen is then put onto the stigma, which is the female reproductive part of the flower, right? So the pollen then travels down the stigma, down to this bottom part, which eventually becomes fruit if it does take, right? So the pollen travels all down here, right? Travels down, let me get it to focus. There we go. Travels down the stigma down here, right? And if it, the flower gets pollinated, you will then get fruit like this, right? So these are some freshly pollinated flowers. The petals already took off of it, right? And now these should become nice, nice, some sweet sugar dragon in a couple couple weeks, right? About two, three weeks. I pollinated these about two weeks ago. So it usually takes about 30-ish days for them to go ahead and ripen, right? But pretty simple. Male reproductive parts of the stamen contain pollen. The pollen is then put onto the stigma, travels down the flower, and that's how we get fruit, right? So let me just show you guys a few of what it looks like before I remove the flower petals. This one right here recently took, and you know it takes when the flower petal just comes off just like that, right? When you have it like that. So when it comes off just like that, that's how you know your flower pollinated and you will be receiving fruit, right? So this one right here, same deal, right? This one's a little bit smaller, but same deal. As you can see right here, you see how this fruit, this um flower, not fruit, because it didn't take, right? This flower is wobbly, right? That means it did not pollinate. That happens sometimes for many of reasons. Sometimes the, the tree just feels like it's not, um, doesn't have enough nutrients in it in order to produce that much fruit. As you can see, we got plenty of fruit on this tree, so I'm not surprised that some will abort, but that's a perfect example of what it looks like when it doesn't take and what it looks like when it takes. So I'm actually happy that that happened. This one's freshly pollinated, so we can't tell yet, but we got a few down here. Like, I, I, it's safe to say this one did not take. You could tell it's wobbling, right? This one for sure did not take. We're gonna go ahead and pop that off. Ooh. Okay, this one probably didn't take either by the looks of it. So we got a few flowers that didn't take and that's okay, but this pretty much just sums up the video. I wanted to show you guys what these flowers look like during the day. I was able to show you what it looks like when a flower isn't pollinated, what it looks like when it is pollinated. So yeah, man, before you guys head out, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like, comment, and I'm out. Appreciate y'all.